Ruska is the chief executive, sir. It is good to have you, Rafael. Um, you, you, we were talking earlier today. You could see the slowdown before we were seeing it in the numbers. So what are you seeing now? What we see today, we see that uh, consumers are shifting from the goods that are like they prefer it one, maybe more expensive, now into a kind of substitutes. They are searching the website to find cheaper goods. So the basket value is decreasing, the frequency is still kept on the same level. Do you expect it will get worse? In other words, from your experience with this sort of activity, do, 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 do things slow down to such an extent? I think for e-commerce, this is, yeah, it is a kind of tailwind. This is a shift in the consumer preferences. But we also strongly believe, and we observe that at least in our impulse numbers, new users coming to online shopping. Polish penetration of online is around 10%. Western European countries is more than 20, 25, close to 30. So we are catching up. That's why when you look at the French volume in last two quarters, it has dropped by almost 24%. Our volumes has grown up by 7%. So we see that people are shifting into out of home and our lockers, this is out of home delivery, much more convenient and cheaper. So the, for you, cheaper, absolutely. Cheaper for end users. Go on. Cheaper for end users than door to door, like 30% cheaper. So they shift from door to door deliveries into locker delivery. Locker delivery, of course, is still somewhat new in the United States. It doesn't really exist in the United States. It's only really coming into the UK, although it is growing. Is that the future? This is definitely the future, because the energy associated with the delivery to door and delivery to locker, in our case, is one-eighth of the manpower and one-eighth of the energy. So it's sustainable. We save 75% CO2 emission per parcel delivery, for instance, versus traditional to-door. If we talk about Ukraine, and obviously as a logistics company, I'm guessing that the exp expertise that you have has been put to, to good use, and you, you, you must be highly involved. Literally, we as InPost and also collectively with hundreds of entrepreneurs, we've organized within the first five days a kind of common helping hand, giving what everyone from our enterprises may give to the help, what we may contribute. So we contributed the transportation. We've transported more than 6,000 tons of humanitarian aid just for free. But the other entrepreneurs contributed, you know, in kind, whatever they had to, to help. And... Uh, do you anticipate having to keep, maybe not at that same level, but, you know, we're talking tonight about an escalation as a result of the annexation. Uh, do you anticipate having to continue at that sort of level? We are definitely dedicated to help our Ukrainian brothers. I mean, they are our neighbours. They fight against Russia. And instead of us fighting there, we should help them to defend their country. That's natural. The energy crisis that's going to hit this country the higher energy prices, it hits you both as a, a businessman. You, you, how many trucks have you got? You know, thousands of trucks or thousands. whatever. Thousands of trucks. So you're, even if they're electric, you're still paying a lot for the electricity sure. as well. That'll do it. So, so it's hitting you and it'll hit the bottom line in some shape or form um, as it will hit every person at home. Now, forget being a CEO. Do you think the stomach is here in Poland for a hard winter to continue that support? It's difficult and it will be difficult. So, you know, everyone has to be ready for the worst scenario. And we as business guys, we have to be ready for that as well. You know, in our case, it's much easier. As I said, we need one eighth of the energy needed. Mm -hmm. One van, not eight vans, to deliver the same 1,000 parcels. So our pain is not so, like, remarkable than in other businesses. Hopefully. As things progress, we can talk more to you so that we Thank get you. an idea of exactly what's happening in this part of the world. I'm very grateful to you.